Right, I'm uh, cleaning the stove out at the moment. <laughs> Absolutely full of shit it is. <laughs> Ashes loaded up. But uh, it's beginning to look quite nice. Oh, the fire's caught now. It's going well. Just check the top of it for is there any smoke coming out? No. It goes from there, up there, right across the top of the oven and up, up the pipe. <coughs> the fire's in there, middle bit. That bit's for ashes. That top bit. I ain't quite sure what that top bit's for, it opens up uh, oven and that's, I don't know, lower oven, tools and stuff and that's a tray for mop but it's it's got to go under the stove yet, just to the front and there's my, <laughs> look, fire tongs, yay! Oh, what a gorgeous fire! It rained uh, quite a few times today and it got bloody cold tonight uh, I can't really see that properly. Yes, you can look. Oh, beautiful hot embers. I've got some bread, I could make some toast, but I've not to put on it. So, um, I need that tonight. This stove, it's got quite chilly. This is the stove for the bedroom, it's not fit up yet, of course. What it is, is um, I figured out it's just a metal can. Fill it up with wood, and then you set a light to it, and then it burns for a few hours, and then all the heat goes into the room. But you only do it once, it's a one-off thing, and it's got little, little vents to, to let air in. It'll be alright. I've just got the stove for this this um, fire here which is going to stand out slightly and it's got a big radiator and it's going to go up there and it's going to go through a hole in the wall when they figure out where to put it so that's number one well there wasn't a hole there but there's one there now <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to fit this up to it this is that square wood burner. That is a huge radiator. And then it goes whoop, and through the wall. Oh, sweetheart, this is one very strange fire, but by God, it's warm. I can feel it from here. That there is a, it's a radiator. It splits all the air that's coming out of the fire into five tubes. And it radiates masses of heat. And it goes up there and it goes out through the wall. That is one weird and wonderful fire. <laughs> oh my bloody hell it works. I'll fit in now. This is the other stove in the guest bedroom. It's another full, fully equipped range. It's a lot better than the one I've got. Uh, I might get round to do some roasting here. It's not fit up yet. They gotta go from there up there and through that through that thing in the wall see there. Cut the cap off, that's where it goes out. But yay, yeah, good one. I mean a brand new bloody stove, is there? Well, very new. Okay, so now this is the other fire. That was that was quite a simple job, it's just the straight pipe through and out. Haven't lit that one yet to see if it works, but uh, We'll get around to it. But there's fires in three rooms now. That is a really good cooking fire, is this one. Uh, rail's not straight. <laughs> well, this, this stove was a laugh. Uh, I opened it up and it's absolutely full of, of ash. Right on the top row as well, and you don't burn things up on the top. That's a combustion chamber. Whoever used this thing didn't know what the hell they were doing. Anyway, uh, 
I've got it working now, but when I first started it, it was smoking all over the place and it, it wouldn't go up the chimney. And then I figured that thing there, that lever, must be a damper in the chimney and it must actually work. So I pulled it out and boom, went like a rocket. No more smoke. Uh, the, uh, the oven's okay, it's got two shelves in it. And I've stuck my hand in now and it's bloody red hot in the oven. So I should be able to figure out what to do with this eventually. The doors are better on this. This is a better stove than the one I've got in the living room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a big a load of wood coming. Oh, watch me Gary's door, son. He's having a bit of trouble getting a truck in. Right, well I've cleared all the, um, the wood out, it's 9 o'clock now, it's been fairly cool so I've got to get it done and I've put it all across in here but I don't think you'll be able to see it. Might be able to see inside the shed this morning if we've got a bit of light, a bit of light, there we go, bit of light, bit of wood, now, oops, try to bloody fall over. That's what I call a pile of wood. <laughs> uh, from floor to ceiling. And about, whew, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. About 15 foot wide. And about seven feet high. That should last me for a while. Hello, little snake. <laughs> Maybe it's not so little, by the way. <laughs> okay, okay. The uh, Bulgarians are not too happy about snakes. Where's your tail? That's your head there, and you're looking at me, aren't you?